Hello everyone and welcome to a video dedicated to you, the awesome people that comment the good and the bad about the content we create. Many of you disagree with my choice of putting a wild why not in my rarest Pokemon video because of an egg you're able to find in Generation 3, but I feel it was just a misunderstanding as I was not specific enough. I should have really emphasized the wild part. So to commemorate all those comments, I present to you my totally opinionated top 5 rarest wild Pokemon, hashtag not an official list, hashtag be gentle list list. Chimeco is on this list not only because of his rarity, but mostly nostalgia. When Gen 3 came out, I spent many hours playing and after a while, I decided to start completing the Pokedex. I didn't even know he existed, but thanks to the internet, I learned what he looked like and where to find him. There's only one problem though, there's only a 2% chance for you to encounter him at the summit of Mount Pyre. I spent hours after hours running in the same patch of grass looking for this guy. It was kinda like shiny hunting, but I don't think it was a thing back then. All my efforts paid off, and finally, I was able to catch one. To be honest, I didn't even know you could catch a wild Dragonite before I started doing research for this video. Yes, you heard me right, you can find wild Dragonites. This is only possible in both Pokemon Black and White and Black and White 2, in the Dragon Spiral Tower. It is in here that you will see water ripples forming, and if you're lucky enough, you may encounter a wild Dragonite. There's only a 1% chance for them to spawn and are between level 50 to 70. Wailor is yet another Pokemon that shares that 1% encounter rate, specifically in Generation 3. You're able to find him in other games such as Black and White with better chances at 5%. If you're in the mood to find a wild whaler, then you can find them in Route 129 while surfing. Interestingly enough, the chances for you to find a wild whaler in Auras is zero, as they have been removed from that route. Before I move on to the last two, I want to clarify a few things. The last two Pokemon I talked about are based on probability, plus they're not the only ones that share this very low encounter rate. So they're on the list mostly because I really like them. Aside from that, there's always a chance that you might have encountered any of these Pokemon in as little as one try. Still, that doesn't mean that they're not rare, you just happen to fall in the lucky 1%. The last two Pokemon are rare in my opinion due to the circumstances in which they need to be encountered. I know many are going to say that Bagan should not be in this list because I'm sure many of us own one and know where to find them. Of course, I'm specifically referring to Generation 3 Bagons, which can only be found in Meteor Falls. While there is a 25% chance for you to encounter them, which is considered to be pretty high, much like Feebas and Wynas that are not on this list for obvious reasons, they can only be found in very specific tiles in the games. Bagons appear only in this small area. And let's be honest here. What would be the chances of anyone to figure out this is the place that they spawn without the use of internet or special guidebooks? Those who have was by mere chance. The Pokedex may point to the area where they're found in, but not specific world tiles. Plus, Meteor Falls is just a humongous maze. Let's talk about Pokemon Diamond and Pearl Munchlax Trees. Back in Gen 2, you were able to head by trees and most people searched for wild Heracross. In Gen 4, however, we were introduced to Honey, which you would slather on specific trees and wait for 6 hours for a Pokemon to appear. Note that even changing the actual time in your DS wouldn't affect the tree counter, so you needed to wait 6 hours no matter what. There were many Pokemon you can encounter this way, and Munchlax is one of them. But unlike any other Pokemon on this list, it wasn't as simple as a specific tree or a 1% chance to encounter a Munchlax. Rather, the games used a completely different system to determine the chance of finding one. This was based on your trainer ID plus your secret ID. The game would generate two random bites and well, there's a whole equation in place that I'm not even going to cover. If you're interested, just look up Honey in Bulbapedia. So if you found one, well, look at you, sir. There you have it guys, that is my top 5 rarest wild Pokemon. I hope you enjoyed the list and if there is any Pokemon you think should have made it, share it in the comments below so more fans can learn about these rare and majestic wild Pokemon. Until next time Pokemon fans.